What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and a lot of people have been asking me about the brand new thing that they're going to be doing and the brand new mechanic they're going to be bringing in from eFootball 2024 transitioning to eFootball 2025. So I've already covered all the eFootball 2025 stuff. They're going to be dropping eFootball 2024 and it's just going to be eFootball. So it's not going to be eFootball 2025. It's just going to be eFootball and that's it. But we already covered that in the other video that we did earlier on this morning, and we also did a five-hour stream, right? So I want to talk about this, which is the contract situation. As we know, and if you don't know, they're getting rid of the contracts. So any players that are out of contract, they won't need a contract once eFootball25, or eFootball as it's now been known, is ready to go. So it's going to be like mid-September, they already announced the release date. As I said, I went over that in a lot of detail in the other video. But essentially what they've said here is, if you have a contract renewal, there's two types of contract renewal, right? The first one is a 60-day contract, and the other is a 10-day contract. If you have a 60-day contract, Konami are going to be giving you and converting your 60-day contract into one-chance deal. If you've got a 10-day contract, you're going to need six of those to convert into one-chance deal. So if this is confusing, I have made a very simple... Now watch the graphics here. Boom. It's very simple, right? It's a very simple uh, diagram here, or a very simple graphic. Contract renewal, if you've got a 60-day contract renewal, you're going to get one spin. If you've got a 10-day contract renewal, you're going to need six of those to value one spin, which is the same as the one 60-day contract. It's confusing, but hopefully that kind of, you know, makes it into your head and, and understand, and you understand it. It's, it's kind of basically that a 60-day contract, if you've got one of those, it gets one spin, but you need six to get into that. So that basically means, right, that if we go back out here and you want to check, if you go into your game plan and you go to a player that has not got a contract, such as Messi, and you bring Messi in, or you don't even need to bring him in, but if you go to his player card, and then go to player actions, and go to contract renewal, you will see how many you have. So these are the amount of 60-day uh, contracts that we have, which is five, which means we have five spins, and then this for the 10-day one, that means that we've got 244, which means that we're going to divide this by six, which is 240 divided by six, which means that we'll have 40 spins from this, and five spins from this, which is a grand total of 45, okay? So the more 60 days that you have, and the more 10 days that you have, the more spins that you're going to get. Now, they talk about this back here as well, but I also want to talk about one thing, right? So they do say that you are going to be getting spins in this, and they talk about it that you are going to be converting your contracts into chance deals or spins. This chance deal will allow you to randomly sign a player from a box containing 100 previously released epic and highlight players. So this is not going to be a box with just 100 Showtime boosters, Vieira, Rijkaard, Baradona, Messi, no. This is going to be a box with a lot of low-rated highlight players and epic players and also probably a few good ones. It depends how many is going to be in the box as well. Will it be 200? Will it be 250? Will it be 100? 150? I reckon probably 250. If not, 150, definitely. So I do feel it'll be between 150 and 250. It could be even... I don't, I don't think they'll have more than that. However, some people are going to have a lot of spins, right? So for example, if you check out, some people will have a lot of spins. They'll have like a thousand contracts. Now, they'll have got a lot of contracts like this by basically being just releasing five-star players. So one quick way to do it is to go into your team here and filter this by player value to five-star. It's only five-star players, and it's only highlight and epic players or boosters or showtime. To find out what card you have, if you go into Gakpo here as a standard, his card type is standard, as you see over on the left-hand side of the screen under his player card. You will not get any contract for releasing him, because he's a standard card. However, if you release uh, this guy, o Ochawa, right, if you release him, and you release him here with a five star, you will actually get your contract renewal, right? So we can release him there and we're going to get another five, 10 star or another uh, 10 day contract, which is going to be working towards our way to the spins basically, right? So that's how you get more contracts. You can't get 60 day ones as of right now, but if you release any of the five star cards that you don't have, um, obviously this is going to be a bit of a bummer if you haven't been playing the game long. Like I have probably about 300 players I can release realistically because I'm not going to really save them now. I had it kind of in my head that they'd bring in some sort of trade feature or transfer feature. I don't know will they do that now. So I'm going to probably clear out my squad a little bit. Also on top of that there as well, right? I think eFootball, the league, my league, I think that gives a little indication as to what we could be getting, right? So as I said, if you go into my league, you'll be able to check out kind of a, a range of players, right? If you go in here to the exchange points and go to loan players, 
these are kind of a sample of what you could be getting. So for example, it's not just going to be big time Showtime, Cruyff, Maradona, Vieira, Rijkaard, end game meta players like Bullet Header, Ronaldo, or the new current Cruyff that we have. These are all epic or highlight players. Epic, card type epic. Then you're going to have Haaland, who's going to be a card type highlight. You're also going to have these cards here, like Fakir, who's going to be highlight. You're going to have other cards down here. Cole Palmer, he's going to be a highlight. So it could be a mix of a hundred of these players. You could get somebody like Haaland, who's a showtime, or you could get somebody like this guy, who's only going to be a 92 overall highlight card. So I don't think they're going to put a hundred of the best ever released cards in there, because some people will have 200 spins. You know, so they're not going to give it that easy to you. So that's probably a good example. Also, the player of the weeks in here, they're down as trending. They won't be in it based on this. However, they have changed trending into highlights, so they could do that as well. Basically, everything but a standard card could be in this, but it depends on what size the box is and what size and how many uh, players are going to put in there, right? So I hope that kind of answers that. I hope that kind of shows you guys as well how many that you get. This is not a new concept, right? So I'm going to show you here from eFootball 2022 or from the transition from Pez to eFootball. They had this thing called Veteran Bonus. You can read that here. You can pause the video if you want to read if you're interested. But that basically meant that the more legends you had in your squad, the better that you could use, right? So the more legends you had in your squad, the more spins you would have got for eFootball 2025. And that's kind of how they did it, right? So they had it that if you had 10 legends, you got like five spins or something like that for eFootball 2022. So that is how I got these players. So way back when, this is how I got these players here. Just to show you guys if you're interested. I know some of you won't, but Vieira, Inzaghi, Romario, Nakata, and Puyol, they are my original, original, original players that I would have got. Now, I'll be able to use them because their contracts will not, they're doing away with the contract expiration. And you can see there the amount of games I've played with Vieira. It was 442 games uh, with Patrick Vieira and all those old school players. They were my first ever veteran bonuses. I had 10 legends in PES 2021, or uh, iconic moment players, and I got five free spins. That is similar to how it's going to work. So essentially for eFootball 2025, you are going to have probably about maybe 10 to 15 to 20 highlight players and epic players, depending on how many spins you get. Whether there be duplicates, the matter the size of the box, that is dependent on, you know, what happens. But I don't think it's going to be like Beckham, Cry, Figo, all those. They'll be smattered in, but I think that we will have a lot of kind of like lower level tier players as well, because all of these cards in here are essentially highlight cards. So for example, you could go in here and you could go to this guy. He's an epic card. But all of these cards here, like this, are highlight cards. So it depends on the look of what your spins are going to be. They're all known as highlight cards there, all of these. So yeah, I mean, listen, it's not going to be guaranteed. But if you have more spins, you're going to be guaranteeing yourself some beats. So I hope that answers that and explains it a little bit more. I'll leave that just on the end of the screen there. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with daily content. We stream three days a week. We have the banter. We have the crack. So I hope to see you guys around. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. If it clears it up for you, I'll talk to you in a bit. Let me know how many spins you have as well in the comments below. How many spins are you going to have? Basically, I'm going to have about 40.